I was just wrapping up a course on environmental ethics where some of the major themes had to do with how do we make um, decisions that affect communities with imperfect information, um, and especially with longer term consequences that are hard to calculate. These are all going to be questions where like, here's this thing, we don't know exactly how it's going to play out, so we need to have these community discussions about how much um, experimentation and risk with difficult to measure consequences that affect other people, how do we have those kinds of conversations. I was particularly moved by Zainab Tufekci's, her, her big book was Twitter and Tear Gas, and she was very early on kind of sounding the alarm that we need to think more carefully about how masks work, and in particular that a lot of the data suggests that we want to tease apart uh, our reasons for wearing masks, so she separates out mask wearing as individual safety and protection, which is where things like N95 masks that are um, difficult to get a hold of, difficult to manufacture, um, but quite effective, where there's, there's a shortage of those from masks that you wear to protect other people. And when you have a community-wide practice of people wearing even very simple cloth masks, that can do a lot to impede the spread of respiratory illnesses. And so she was worried that some of the discourse discouraging mask wearing to, just to prevent hoarding of medical supplies for high risk settings like hospitals was going to inadvertently end up making it easier for community transmission because people are going to be avoiding wearing the simpler masks that are good for helping other people even if they don't necessarily protect you all that well. Some of the, the signals are getting mixed about whether we're wearing masks for ourselves or others. Uh, and I think the strongest case to be made is even though our risks are not equally distributed throughout society, so age seems to make a big difference in terms of risk factor, pre-existing health conditions seems to make a big difference, immune system health, etc. The more we take care of our relationship to others, the less impactful this is going to be. So, um, and it's it's not all going to break down neatly or cleanly, right? Like. Honestly, for many of my students, right, they're, they're caretakers for grandparents or they work in um, senior care facilities. Like they, they, it's not that they don't care, they don't get it, many of them already do, um, but this is an important thing that everybody can do to help protect the health of our communities.